हरि ओम नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंक लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृदो वंदे भगवंदन पुनः श्री गणेश शारदा गुरभ्यो नम शिवाय गुरव नम कामदेव काम बालक कामी कामीकागम सो द फर्स्ट वन इज कामदेव काम हियर मीन काम्यते चतुर्विधपुरुषादी काम सो काम मीन दैट विच इज डिसड काम हियर डज नाट मीन मीन डिसयर काम हियर मीन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ डिसयर वॉट इज युअर काम वॉट इज दैट यू आर डिसयरिंग दट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ काम वॉट इज इट जनरली वी डिसयर वी जनरली डिसयर द चतुर्विध पुरुषार्था यू डिसयर ए डिसय जनरली वॉट यू डिसयर यू डिसयर ए डिसयर दैट इज कॉल काम काम That's what Krishna says. Sashanti maapno ti na kama kami. A person who is a kama kami will never attain shanti. Then who will attain shanti? Dharma kami. Ye dharma ka masyu. Ethate teshu vartaran. The way dharma kama act in this world, you also act like them. Then you will attain shanti. So number one kama is kama kama. Number two kama is dharma kama so though it's all well said that kama kama is bad you won't get peace i want to be peaceful pe- not peaceful some people say that it's okay if i am not peaceful without aggression nothing is available in this world being peaceful means being a parasite being useless so i want to have that aggressive aggression and i want to be desirous then you need a certain setup for that you cannot get that kama if you don't have that set- setup and the setup is made of artha artha means an object of desire it is dis- different from desire desire is also an object of desire but artha is different from desire in the sense artha is the cause or the facilitator for all your desires what is what is artha artha means substance i'll i'll come to artha what it is mm-hmm. but artha is different from your kama so i have got three things now artha kama 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 and dharma kama artha kama is a desire for having artha kama kama is desire for having kama and dharma kama is desire to, to have dharma so what is artha अर्थो भी देवो रही वस्तु प्रयोजन निवृत्ति शु दर समर कोशा अर्थ है मीन्स अभिधेय अर्थ है मीन्स मीनिंग एवरीथिंग हेज गॉट अ मीनिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड दैट दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अर्थ दैट इज द फर्स्ट मीनिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ मीनिंग इज मीनिंग मीनिंग ऑफ अर्थ इज मीनिंग नंबर टू मीनिंग इज रई रई मीन्स वेल्थ What's the meaning of rai? Wealth. You, you write like that in India, <laughs> and put a line. Here you put an S and <laughs> that is in India you put ra and put a line. Yeah. That is called rai. Rai means like solid physical wealth. It can be a dollar bill, it can be a rupee, whatever it is. I promise to pay the beer at this value. You should have that solid wealth is called rai. So first meaning of artha is meaning. Second meaning solid wealth like hiranyam. Hiranyam mm-hmm. means hiranyam, gold. Mm-hmm. Why not? Mm-hmm. The third one is vastu, an object. If you give this rai or a dollar note to a two-year-old who is experiencing the terrible two, mm-hmm. they will just yes. tear it because they don't know the value. For them, it is just a object. They don't dream about it. It's just a vastu. That is the third meaning of artha. Vastu, just a vastu. The fourth meaning of artha is prayojanam. Sometimes you cannot tempt people with hard wealth or substance. 
but whatever they want that is their prayojanam if you provide that then you can get your thing done so basically artha is whatever facilitates the passage of your desire so meaning securities what is the meaning of artha that which makes you secure enough to pursue your kama so kama means desire artha means securities all the meaning can come under security if you don't know the meaning of a word you feel insecure if you don't have the green bill with you you feel insecure if you do, don't have an object with you you feel insecure i knew a sanyasi who will be very insecure if he put a white thread on his cloth even that thread also has to be saffron he would feel very insecure about it so any object that also can give you insecurities hence it is also artha so artha is something that may, can make you feel so all securities that is called artha all desires they are called kama, kama. all ethical values anything you value other than this artha and kama for the sake of valuing it like ahimsa you have got a value for it you don't get money or artha money or kama out of it but you do it for the sake of following that value ahimsa that is called dharma that is if you do something for a drishta phalam what is drishta phalam the result of which you can experience that is artha and kama but if you do something for adrishta phalam like puja puja is what dharma why puja is dharma because punyam jayate pu means punyam ja means you you are hoping that it will create a good karma <coughs> if you do this puja for this car you will not get any <laughs> yeah it's a hope for a good benefit that is dharma actually you don't go for the visible thing if you go for the visible thing it is artha kama if you go for the in invisible thing that is called dharma if you go for the same thing with conviction that's for moksha so dharma and moksha is one category artha and kama is yeah, yeah it's so so you're all in the soup together the husband knows that it is questionable but he supports the wife it's okay get a coach just once he doesn't know what a coach is <laughs> but he lets her buy the coach <laughs> why because it is artha kama this kama kanda and artha kama are very problematic why because by pursuing it you will never get to the bottom of it na jatu kama kama nam upabhogaya kalpate kavaha kama nam upabhogena na kalpate by consuming kama you will never reach the bottom of it why havisha krishna vartmeva bhuyeva abhivardhate what will happen if you put ghee what will happen if you put butter in a fire ah it will come up that's why kama is called as krishna vartma what is kama called krishna vartma agni agni is called as krishna vartma ka means darkness in the morning you did not have chocolate desire but the moment you saw dad dad where is the cadbury so how did it come up this cadbury thought it came from the darkness dark recess of your heart that is called ka and when the chocolate is given to you you pop it in your mouth apada that is called ma that is satisfaction but that satisfaction is very till the next ka comes till the next question comes that is why havisha krishna vartmeva like havis if you put the havis ghee inside the krishna vartma in fire bhuya abhivardhate that is why kama kama naha shantim apnodi kama kama will never attain peace you can never quench a fire with fuel he is called fire is called krishna vartma means vartma means margam what is the meaning of vartma path krishna means black you take a big ball of fire and drag it in patel hall in the carpet <coughs> you will exactly know where you dragged it because that is the nature of fire it will make a black mark mm. similarly kama also whenever you are pursuing a selfish desire 
it is going to create a dent in your consciousness so how do you erase this you need a white marker that is called nishkama karma <laughs> when you do a nishkama karma the earlier marks which you have ma made there is plastic surgery right there you make it disappear that is why dharma kama and moksha kama is always better than artha kama and kama kama the same kama can be a cure if you if it, it is made nishkama the same artha can be a cure if you say tudiyam vastu govinda tubhyame eva samarpaye hey govinda i am the undertaker caretaker not undertaker caretaker of this object i am giving it back to you if you have that attitude of a custodian towards your objects then you will not have you will not be bound by this artha and kama <coughs> but dharma will never bind you na dharma is never binding that's why they say yato dharma tat sukham dharma is a guarantee good investment sukham giver dharma is a sukham giver so this is the meaning of kama here when when they say kama deva in vishnu's name kama deva kama means kamyante the object of desire these are the four objects of desires the purusharthas so that is kama what is the meaning of devaha divyati iti devaha divyati means prakashate divyati means one who shines if you want to make yourself known you have to go give your visiting card give a link to your website your facebook page your youtube page you have to explain who you are because you are under avidya but bhagavan is chid rupah who is bhagavan yeah even if you put a small lamp in a huge mansion or windows phat ke breaks the windows and the light comes out like that bhagavan when he is present immediately his presence is known to you will know the presence that is why he is called as devaha he does not need any introduction the moment he appears in your heart immediately you can feel the presence of bhagavan that is the meaning of kama devaha so all the kamas he can fulfill merely by his presence you don't you know how he, he makes you fulfilled if you have gone to tirupati by walk you will understand if anybody has gone to tirupati tirumala by walking what happens is it's like 10 15 miles in the bottom you say i want a grandson <laughs> though you are not married i don't know why you desire that but you will say you all sorts of desires and i want a granddaughter and i want a mukuti and that should have a diamond stud all that you will walk up by the time you reach in front of balaji you will forget why you came there you are like one one thing is jargandi next thing you become so blissful all the bharam is gone first of all you have finished your walking you have reached your destination there itself your half dukkham is gone and you look at their god simply divyadi devaha he is prakashate then you say kurayondrum illai i don't have any desires even if i go now that i am fine so that is how without fulfilling your desire he makes you full that is the meaning of kama devaha without getting you into that kama cycle he can make you kampurna that is the meaning of kama ha that's what he says dharmaadi purushartha chadushtayam vanchat bihi even though you are desirous of all this kamyate idi kama ha above all this he becomes the desirable though the grand sun thought will come when you come to alipuri back when you come to the bottom of hell the hill the desire is going to come back but once you are in front of the deity in front of balaji you say no i don't need anything i only need you krishna mm -hmm. so kamam vanchat bihi kamyate even with all your kama still he is more desirable than all your lists he becomes more desirable because he has that kama devaha he has that prakasham chit prakasham in him that is why he is called as kama devaha so it has nothing to do with desire it is with fulfilling your desire without fulfilling it mm. with this gnanam 
with this chit prakasham with this magic that is kama devaha why is he is kama devaha because he is kama palaha that is the second word second meaning second name what is the meaning of kama pala kaminam adhikritanam kaman palayati idi kama palaha so there are two words kama and pala what is the meaning of palaha protector <coughs> caretaker who is a gopala anybody in texas his <laughs> gopala means one who care take takes care of cattle right so what is the meaning of kama pala one who takes care of your kamas why should somebody take care of cattle because if nobody takes care the neighbor will come and snatch it so the cattle has to be given only to people who deserve it that is why this it is it is herded and it is being protected if his son comes and asks if his daughter comes and asks they will show the way to the cattle shed but if an outsider comes then it will not be shown so it has to be given only to an adhikari who is an adhikari eligible person whoever is eligible for that cattle they will be given access the password to the cattle shed others they will be stopped that is the job of the protector the cattle protector protects the cattle, cattle from unwanted intrusion similarly your kama you can do any kama i want to be the chairman of something but it doesn't mean that i'll become that how will i become that how will i get the chair if the kama bala approves how will i get the chair if the kama bala approves and when will the kama bala approve you he says here adhikrita naam kaman palayati if you are adhikrita if you have if you have got eligibility that is why he is called as kama bala otherwise there are so many objects in the world anybody can have anything you cannot because it is provided it is protected all your desires are protected all your desired objects are protected by a pala ha he is there sitting there and saying no that is why in the suprabhadam we say that in the vengadeshwara suprabhadam what do you say swaswadikara mahimadikam arthayantaha all this big big rishis maharshis they go and stand in in front of vishnu and say give me adhikaram give me mahima give me the eligibility because once you get the eligibility you will get the thing if you clear lsat you get into law school if you clear mcat you get into if you clear the board like that you have to get eligibility to get the thing similarly if you want to get the kama for each kama there is a if you are a mumukshu if you are a moksha kama you have to have sadhana chatushtayam if you don't have sadhana chatushtayam and say i want to be moksha i want to be free for my spouse no stay <laughs> did you get vairagyam <laughs> did you get bhumukshatam no i don't have all that i want my wife and moksha you know he say kama palaha <laughs> he'll keep quiet he won't say anything that is why he is called as kama palaha adhikritebhya adhikritanam kaman varshayati palayati he only provides desires of people who are eligible it's not free for all why is that he is a kama pala the next word kami so kami means like dhani what is the meaning of dhani one who has got dhanam not like 10 dollars or 25 dollars <laughs> yeah you should have like bill gates you should have the entire wealth ashishto dridishto balishta seyam prithivi sarvasya vittasya purna asyat sayeko manusha ananda that kind of dhani like that kami means one who has got all his kamas not one chota chota kama the entire kama of the world there is in the kitty of venkateshwara there is the meaning of kati hasta why vishnu has kati hasta he is playful i know everything i have everything i have no kama at all that is why he is called as kami so if i say that i am going to stop you from attaining your kama then you will say do you have any kama at all i myself am a wanting person so i cannot stop you 
Because Vishnu has got the entire Kama in his kitty. Why? Because he is Purna Kama Twat. He is Apta Kama. He is a Purna Kama. Hence, he can be a protector to others. That is the meaning of Kami. Purna Kama Swabhavat. He is a Purna Kama not because he went and attained this Kama. That is his Swabhava. That is the nature of Vishnu. Vishnu's own nature is Kami. Sahajadaya. He has got all his desire. Why is he Kami? Because he is Kantaha. Kantaha usually means husband. In general Sanskrit. Here it means Abhirupa Tamam Deham Vahan Kantaha. Kantaha also means in Sanskrit magnet. What is the meaning of Kantam? Ayas Kantam or Kantaha. So what does the magnet do? It attracts. So normally when you look at a person, what is attractive? As long as he is quiet, he is silent, his form will attract you. <coughs> if he has got the best, yeah. If he has got the best makeup, best foundation, all that will attract you. But the moment they open their mouth. But for Vishnu, Abhirupa Tamam, the most attractive features, including Deham, that he has. That is why he is called as Kantaha. And as a result, Krishna, A Krishna, Rajasa, everything he, the Veda says, he just draws everything into him. Why? Because he is a huge magnet sitting in the Saptagiri. That is why he is called as Kantaha. The last one is Kritagamaha. Now Yudhishthira is asking a question to Bhishma. I am making it up. <laughs> How do you know all this information? How do you know that Krishna is Kanta? It's all about Krishna. The entire thing is about Krishna. You are Kami because he is a father of Kamadeva. You are Kamapala because you fulfill. How do you know all that? Because Krita Gamaha. Who is Krishna? He not only has all these qualities, he has put all this information in a book called Agamaha. Agamaha means scripture. Kritam who? Kena Kritam? Krishna Kritam. That Agama is also made by Vishnu. He made it appear in the heart of Brahma. Yeah. That is why he is called as Krita Agamaha. Meaning one who made the Vedas, made the scriptures. Itihasa, Purana, Sruti, Smriti. The entire thing is called as Agamaha. A means Vishnu, Ga means Gauri, Ma means Maheshwara. So, entire Shaiva, Vaishnava, Shakta, Agamas. That is the entire span of literature that was created by Paramatma, Parameshwara. Hence, he is called as Krita Gamaha. So, Stip Prajabya Privalayantam, Nyaya Namargena, Mahim Mahisha, Go Brahmane, Vishwamas, Trinityam Loka, Samasta, Sugino, Bhavantu, Sarve Bhavantu, Suginaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Vashinto, Marcus Siddhu Kavad Bhavet, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.